Hey church, uh, my name's Dustin. I'm the lead pastor here. And you know, I think all of us, we've had moments this past week where we've opened our phones, uh, we've turned on the news and we've just seen uh, horrific things happening across our world. You know, we've seen an earthquake in Haiti that's killed thousands of people. And then just two days later, a tropical storm comes and there's thousands of people who are displaced and thousands of people looking for refuge, thousands of people looking for food, for water, for shelter. And also, you know, over this past month, we've seen the Taliban take over Afghanistan, you know, and, and we're seeing horrific videos coming out of Afghanistan of filled airports and people trying to flee the country for fear of their lives. We're hearing stories of believers, Christians in Afghanistan preparing to die because they know that is what's going to come. And we're seeing all this happen. And then over the past couple of months, we've also seen um, thousands and thousands and thousands of unmarked graves found in our own nation from our indigenous friends who have passed away from, uh, from residential schools. And we're seeing all this happen. I think for a lot of us, at least me, I don't know how to respond. I don't know how to respond to all this pain, how to respond to all this fear, how to respond to everything that I'm opening my phone and just seeing horrific images and videos. And we don't, we don't know what to do. And so as I was praying about this, as I was thinking about this, I, I believe God, you know, as Christians, as believers, I think there's three things that we can do in response to what is happening in our world. And number one is we can pray without ceasing. You know, 1 Thessalonians 5.17 says, pray without ceasing. You know, I think a lot of us, our first response to pain, to, to everything we see is to feel sorry, which I, again, feel sorry. But at the same time, I think that we need to pray. You know, I think a lot of us, we, we sit here, we're sitting here helpless. We don't know what to do. We feel hopeless of what can we do. Well, one thing we can do is pray. Pray for our friends in Afghanistan. Pray for our friends in Haiti. Pray for our indigenous communities here in Canada. These are people who are struggling so deeply. We can pray for, for, people, for our nation to be healed. We can pray for our, for our land to be healed. We can pray for our for our world to find freedom, find healing, find restoration. We can pray for peace in Afghanistan. We can pray for, for resources for Haiti. We can pray for, for reconciliation here in our own nation. You know, we as believers need to be people of prayer. That should be our first response to these things happening, needs to be prayer. We need to pray without ceasing. We need to make God known in this land, That pray that God will be known if that, in Afghanistan in Haiti, in our nation, because our world needs Jesus. Our world desperately needs peace. Our world desperately needs the love that he has for us. And we need to pray and we need to start walking in what he has called us to do. Number one, prayer without ceasing. Number two is we need to give generously. You know, Hebrews 13, 16 says this, do not neglect to do good and to share what you have. For such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Do you know what pleases God is when we share what we have. What if what we have is not just meant for us? What if what, the, what we have, our money, our time, our resources, is not just for us, but it's actually for our world? What if, what if what's been entrusted to us is also supposed to be shared? What, what if what God has done for us is supposed to actually be shared with the nations, with, with Afghanistan, with Haiti? And we need to be people that give. To, that give generously. That's what we are supposed to do. I believe that that, that that is what God is calling us to do in this moment. We need to share what we have, to give towards, towards people who are, on the, who are on the front lines fighting in Afghanistan for, 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 for people to find a healing, to, to find love, to, to find a refuge. You know, I think our response for Haiti is to give. Like, like, we might not be able to go there, but we can send our resources so that we can start to see some of these people find a place to sleep, a place to eat, a place to drink fresh water. I believe that this is our responsibility is to give. And, and below, in the link below, you'll see, I have three opportunities for us to give. One uh, to Haiti, to Afghanistan, and one right here in our community, in our country, for what's happening with our indigenous friends. You know, number one, you know, pray without ceasing. Number two, give generously. Number three is love unconditionally. You know, James 1, 27, which is probably my favorite verse in the Bible, says this, religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained from the world. You know, our responsibility as Christians is to love unconditionally. 
It says, is this true religion that is undefiled before the Father? It's taking care of widows and orphans. Now, the, it doesn't say taking care of widows and orphans in your church. It doesn't say taking care of widows and orphans in your community. That It doesn't say taking care of widows and orphans that look like you, dress like you, act like you, believe like you. No, it says pure religion. True religion is taking care of widows and orphans. It's taking care of people who are in desperate need for something, who are in desperate need for, for peace, for joy, for love. People who are in desperate need to, to have somebody visit them, to, to provide food for them, to teach them how to speak English. And I think over the next few months, we're gonna start to see a lot of people coming into our country. And our response as Christians cannot be fear. It has to be love. We have to be a people who are known for our love, who are not known for our hate. We cannot be known for our fear. We can't be known for what we don't agree with. We need to be known for how we love people. How are we writing on social media about what's happening right now? What are we writing about what's happening in our world, in our nation, in Afghanistan, in Haiti? How we respond to this, people will notice. And our response needs to be love. We need to be people who love our world. We can't respond in fear. We have to respond in love. You know, I want to encourage all of us today, whoever's watching this, whether you're a Christian or not, whether you're a believer or not, three things we can do. Let's pray for our world. Let's pray for Haiti. Let's pray for Afghanistan. Let's pray for Canada. Number two, let's give. Let's give to what God is doing. Let's give to what, what people are doing in our world to take care of these people. Again, I have links posted below. And lastly, let's love. Let's love people. Even if they're different than us, let us be known for how we love. So I'm just gonna pray for us as we step into what, what's next because uh, I think there's a lot of confusion. We don't really know what's gonna happen, but we can pray that God is gonna lead us. So Father, we just thank you for this moment. We get to gather here and... Uh, Learn how we can respond to this. How can we respond to what's happening in our world? How can we respond to the fear in God? I pray you give us wisdom. You give us discernment. You give us love. Uh, God, help us search you, search for you, and help our world search for you. And God, I thank you that, that we as a church, we as believers will be known for how we love, not how we fear. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. We love you.